Hello everyone, and welcome to the third chair of Melee Chain Grab Guides. Today, we will be going over Ganondorf's incredibly long list of down throw chain grabs, as well as his up throw semi chain grabs. Ganon is able to down throw chain grab Bowser, Yoshi, DK, Ganon, Falco, Fox, Sheik, Ness, Game Watch, Marth, Roy, Link, Young Link, Pikachu, and Pichu. He is also able to up throw on Fox and Falco for some DI. While Ganon does have the most chain grabs, a few of them are also some of the most difficult chain grabs in the game. With that being said, this will be a long video, so buckle in and let's get started. Before we begin the down throw chain grabs, it is important to note that Ganon's down throw is affected by how heavy the opponent is. This means the heavier the opponent, the more time Ganon is stuck before he can move again. Knowing when Ganon is actionable after a throw is important to following up on some of his harder chain grabs. On the other side, Ganon's up throw is not affected by character weight, so he can move the same time after throwing Fox or Falco. Lastly, it is usually important to jump cancel Ganon's grab, as it comes out 4 frames faster than his dash grab and has 10 frames less end lag if it misses. There are minor exceptions to this that will be stated during the respective sections. Starting versus Bowser, Ganon is able to down throw chain grab him from 0 to 72% regardless of DI. With no DI, Ganon can regrab with a standing regrab, but will need to transition into a turnaround regrab at 20% onward. You can end this with a turnaround up smash or a bear, with the former being a bit of a risk as Bowser is able to escape if you are a bit slow. On away DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab, and it is one of the easiest follow ups. You can end this chain grab with an up smash, an up air, or a forward tilt. Lastly, on behind DI, Ganon has to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This is actually pretty difficult as Bowser is very heavy and it takes Ganon a while to recover from the throw lag. You can't really follow this up with anything more than a nair or a dash attack, so you can go for an up throw and juggle instead as well. Moving on, we have Ganon's chain grab on Yoshi. He can down throw chain grab Yoshi from 0 to 36% regardless of DI. For no DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab for the entire percent range. You want to do a safe follow-up afterwards, so an up air is a strong option here. For away DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab from 0 to 29%. From 29 to 35%, Ganon will need to dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with an up air as well. For behind DI, Ganon can regrab from 0 to 7% with a turnaround regrab. From 7 to 35%, he will need to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. Ganon is able to down throw DK starting at 21% and going until 69% regardless of DI. This chain grab has a similar feeling to Bowser due to DK's weight, but it is a bit easier to perform. For no DI, Ganon just needs to turn around regrab for the entire percent range. You can end this with an up air or a bear for easy damage. For all the way DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab. You can end this with any quick aerial, an up smash, or a forward tilt. For all behind DI, Gen needs to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. This is by far the most difficult part of this chain grab, so prepare to cover this option first. You can end this with a dash attack or a nair. Gen does have a pretty nice chain grab on himself, ranging from 0 to 67% regardless of DI. Similar to the previous chain grabs, behind DI is a lot more difficult than any other DI, so be ready to cover it. Starting with no DI, from 0 to 50%, Gen can just stand and regrab. From 50 to 67%, Gen will need to turn around regrab instead. You can end this with a smash attack, a quick aerial, or a forward tilt. For away DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab from 0 to 25%. From 25% onward, he will need to dash jump cancel regrab instead. You can end this with an up smash, a nair, an up air, or a forward tilt. For behind DI, Ganon will need to turn around dash jump cancel regrab. Again, this is the hardest DI to catch and can only be followed up with a nair or a dash attack at the end. Now, for one of the hardest chain grabs in the entire game, Ganon's down throw chain grab on Falco. This chain grab goes from 12 until over 250%, however it is very complicated as it has multiple steps and reacting to the DI requires incredibly fast reactions and inputs, so practicing this is very important. Starting with no DI at 12%, Ganon can just stand and regrab until 116%. After 116%, Ganon must start doing a turnaround regrab instead. You can end this at any point with any quick attack of your choosing, or you can go for an up smash at the higher percents.
for all of ADI, from 12 until 40%, Ganon can just stand and regrab. Starting at 41% until 110%, Ganon must perform a small dash jump cancel grab instead. Once 111% hits, Ganon has a slightly easier time with the regrab by using the slower dash grab. However, the dash jump cancel grab can still cover this range. You can end this chain grab with any quick attack that hits in front as well. You could also hit with the down B at 80%, which can kill off the side of Final Destination. For behind DI, from 12% until 65%, Ganon must do a quick turnaround regrab. From 66% until 125%, he must perform a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. Once 126% hits, it becomes a lot easier to just perform a turnaround dash grab, but the turnaround dash jump cancel grab can still hit as well. You can end this with a quick bear, which should kill around 130% onwards. Also, I'd like to point out that this DI is incredibly difficult, and I was not able to record the entire thing in one go. On top of having his monster down throw chain grab on Falco, Ganon does have a smaller semi chain grab with his up throw as well. This works on every DI except the way DI, and it is much easier to perform. For no DI, Ganon can regrab from 32 to 119% with just a standing regrab. You can end this with an up smash, a forward smash, a forward tilt, or practically any aerial. For behind DI, Ganon can regrab from 51 to 119% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel grab. You can end this with a nice bear or a forward tilt, both of which should send Falco pretty far away or even kill depending on DI. And now, for the likely hardest chain grab in the game to master, Ganon's down throw chain grab on Fox. This chain grab goes from 34% until death regardless of DI. However, for no DI, it can be a zero to death chain grab. This chain grab follows a very similar pattern to Falco, however with different percents, and it's even harder to time. Starting with no DI at 0%, Ganon can just stand and regrab until 108%. After 108%, Ganon must start doing a turnaround regrab. At low percents, you can only really go for a jab, so it's best just to regrab until higher percents, which you can kill with basically any quick move, but forward tilt and fast aerials work at mid to high percents, and a forward smash or up smash can work on very high percents. For all the way DI, from 34 until 66%, Ganon can just stand and regrab. Starting at 66 until 115%, Ganon must perform a small dash jump cancel grab in front. Once 115% hits, Ganon has a slightly easier time with this regrab by using the slower dash grab. However, the dash jump cancel grab is still a good way to go. You can end this with a forward tilt, a fast aerial, a down B, or a forward smash. For behind DI, Ganon can regrab from 34% to 130%. This is actually incredibly difficult, probably being the hardest chain grab in the entire game in my opinion. I could not get a full chain grab at all, so we will split it into sections. From 34% to 70%, Ganon must do a quick turnaround grab. From 71% to 130%, he must perform a dash jump cancel grab. You can end this with a forward tilt at any point, or go for a bear at higher percents. Ganon does have a smaller semi chain grab with his up throw on Fox, that lasts from 51 to 111%. The only reason this isn't a true chain grab is that Fox can always escape on a way DI. However, that does lead to a tech chase or a jump read, so it is still useful. For no DI, Ganon can regrab from 51 to 111% by just doing a standing regrab. You can end this with an up smash, a forward smash, or an aerial. For behind DI, Ganon can regrab from 51 to 111% by doing a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a turnaround forward tilt or a quick bear. Gen does have a great down throw chain grab on Sheik. This lasts from 0 until 90%, with the only slightly difficult section being the 80-90% part due to having to grab Sheik's legs before she can jump out. For no DI, Gen can just stand and regrab. Once Sheik gets into the higher percent ranges, around 70% hour, Gen should start to do a turnaround regrab. You can end this with an up smash or an aerial of your choice. For away DI, Ganon can just cover with a dash jump cancel regrab. It's best to usually end this with a fair, but you can also go for a quick up air as well and set up for an edge guard situation.
For behind DI, from 0 to 50%, Ganon can cover with a turnaround regrab. From 50% until 90%, Ganon must use a turnaround dash jump cancel to regrab. You can end this with a bear, a forward tilt, or even a forward smash. Moving on, we have Ganon's chain grab on Ness. This chain grab only goes from 0 to 18%, as Ness can double jump air dodge out after 18%. For no DI, Ganon just needs to stand and regrab. It's best to end this with any aerial or an up smash if you're lucky. For away DI, just dash regrab. You can end this with any aerial you want as well. For behind DI, just turn around regrab. You can end this with a bear, dare, or forward tilt. Ganon also has a small chain grab on Game Watch that lasts from 0 to 30%. This chain grab is also pretty easy to perform. For no DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab. You can end this with a forward tilt or an up throw to juggle. For all the way DI, Ganon will need to dash jump cancel regrab, an air or up throw to juggle at the end of this. For behind DI, Ganon can cover with a turnaround regrab or a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a bear. Ganon's smallest true chain grab, his down throw chain grab on Marth, lasts from 0 until 15% regardless of DI, but can go up to 20% on a way or behind DI. For no DI, Ganon can regrab with a turnaround regrab. You can end this with a forward smash, forward tilt, or a bear. For away DI, Ganon can either standing regrab or dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with an up air or an up throw to juggle. For behind DI, Ganon must do a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can only really end this with a bear or a forward tilt. Unlike Marth, Ganon's down throw chain grab on Roy lasts from 0 until 91%. This isn't so much due to Roy's faster falling speed, but due to his legs, which he will be grabbing for most of the chain grab. For no DI, Ganon can just stand and regrab from 0 to 20%. From 20% onward, Ganon must start doing a turnaround regrab on no DI. You can end this with an up smash for a kill at the end of this chain grab. For away DI, Ganon can chain grab Roy from 0 to 50% with a standing regrab, and from 50 to 90% with a dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with a forward smash or a fair, both of which should kill. For behind DI, Ganon must do a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. This will be the most difficult part to get at low percents. You can end it with a quick short hop bear, which should either kill or set into a nice edge guard situation. Another nice long chain grab will be Ganon's down throw chain grab on Link. This lasts from 0 to 74% and isn't too hard to perform. For no DI, Ganon can cover with a standing regrab from 0 to 25%. From 25 to 74%, he should go for a turnaround regrab instead. You can finish this with an up smash, a forward smash, a forward tilt, or an aerial. For away DI, Ganon can cover with a dash jump cancel regrab. Ganon can also just stand every grab around 0 to 40%, however this is a bit tougher grab timing wise. You can end this with a fair or a forward smash if your opponent doesn't jump out right away. For behind DI, Ganon can cover with a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. For the follow up on this DI, you can go for your standard bear or forward tilt, but you can also link a dash attack as well. Continuing the nice and easy chain grabs is Ganon's down throw chain grab on Young Link. This lasts from 0 until 72%, regardless of DI. For no DI, Ganon can chain grab with a turnaround regrab. You can finish this chain grab with many attacks, but going for an up smash is best as it is very likely to kill and deals a ton of damage. For away DI, Ganon can cover with a dash jump cancel regrab. Once again, it is best to go for a fair at the end of this chain grab, but at forward smash, you can cover this option too, especially if angled upwards, so if your opponent is even just a few frames slow to escape, you can hit him here. For behind DI, Ganon can cover from 0 to 42% with a turnaround regrab. From 42% to 72%, Ganon must cover with a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab. You can end this with the standard behind DI follow-ups being bare and forward tilt once again. One of the easiest chain grabs for Ganon would have to be his down throw chain grab on Pikachu. It does only last from 0 to 37% regardless of DI though. For no DI, Ganon just needs to stand and regrab. You can finish this with a quick attack or an up smash. For away DI, Ganon can cover with a dash jump cancel regrab. You can really only hit a quick attack here at the end, with some being an up air, a nair, or a forward tilt. For behind DI, Ganon can cover with a turnaround regrab. You can hit your normal bear or forward tilt, but you can also try and style with a dare, which can mix up your opponent. Ganon's final chain grab is his down throw chain grab on Pichu. 
This is a pretty nice chain grab lasting from 0 to 60%. For no DI, Ganon can cover with just a standing regrab. This is super easy, and you can end it with an up smash which will easily kill on most stages. For all away DI, Ganon must do a small dash jump cancel regrab. Pichu is just too small to be caught with a standing regrab. It's best just to go for a fair or an up air at the end of this chain grab. For behind DI, Ganon can cover with a turnaround regrab or a turnaround dash jump cancel regrab from 0 to 50%. From 50% onwards, Ganon has a dash jump cancel regrab instead. This can be ended with a bear or a forward smash. If you made it this far, congratulations! You truly deserve to be playing the King of Evil. Hopefully you learned something and enjoyed this very long video. Make sure to leave a comment below if you want to add anything about Ganon's chin grabs that you enjoy doing. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.